Yeah, I had to go back and buy a shield. All right, at this point, I'm not even mad at the utter train wreck this has become. I'm just laughing, because this is, like, hilarious to me. Hey, yeah, this is a benign Baba. He gives up. You let him go. He... I am just amazed at the utter stupidity behind this. Because unless you have a shield, you're not going to see this. Unless you can get him with the slingshot? I don't know, I never really tried, but no way. I don't even have the money. Yeah, go home, asshole. All right, now, this guy again. Flashbang. And... Okay, nope, roll out the way. Okay. Flashbang. Roll out, roll out the way. They're doing this the slow and steady way. There we go. All right. That went well? Question mark? Possibly? I don't know, but whatever. Okay. All right. So it looks like the layout is still the same with just, you know, a few rooms getting some minor tweaks here or there or like some new rooms all together. And, um, you know, different enemy placement or just different enemies showing up. Because, yeah, I don't remember this multitude of giant Babas being here. Giant Baba Brigade. The GBB. Okay. Alright. So I need to do this without falling into the water. Alright, come on. Climb, climb up there. All right. And we burn this. Yes. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. I'm about to take damage. Oh, no. I fell in the water. Great. All right. Okay. Wait. I see. You. I see you right there, and I still took stupid damage. Okay. You're another benign scrub, and you're going to tell me how to defeat the boss. Or first I have to stop your evil brother. Oh crap, I need... I didn't beat him in the right order, did I? Shit. On a stick. Okay. I forgot the right order. Was it 2-1-3? Oh uh, man. And of course, this isn't hitting them. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Where's the last one at? Screw this. I need a heart. Immediately. Die for that heart, Link. Oh, Christ. Okay. I think it is 2-1-3. That's the right order, so... Let me just go ahead and beat you to reset this. Alright. Alright. First one, okay, then one, and then three. Or, I, I'm just so full of anger right now. Not really. Oh my god! Okay, uh, we're just going through all the freaking permutations, aren't we? <laughs> wow. Just hurry up before they kill me. Whatever, I need a heart. <laughs> this is so bad! I think the scrub that tells you the right order to beat them are the... Or did I bypass that hint somewhere that tells you the correct order? Is it two? Or are you one? Or were you three and then I just had to hit you next? Or I don't know. Whatever. I will get it correct one of these days. That much is certain. I just have no words now. I... I, I am, no.
Okay, that was the correct thing to do. Whatever. How do you know our secret? I don't know! I... I was just... Trial and error! I brute forced that so bad. Okay, he's gonna reveal the secret of Queen Goma. In order to administer the coup de grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queenie. Sorry about that. Oh, boy. Let me, let me grab another heart. In the water. Or will, will these give me hearts? Yes, they will. Okay, and rupee and whatever. Anyway, let, let, let's go ahead and just fight fight the queen. Let's go ahead and fight her. I forgot, like, the speed run tactic of beating her. You know, like, being able to do it in one hit. So I'll, I'll just go with the standard, standard way of fighting her. I think the speed run involves throwing a Deku nut and then just running up on her or or is it just using your slingshot right here oh whatever but that's her eye right there that's what we want to aim for that's Queen Goma yep parasitic armored arachnid Goma I think it actually is possible to defeat it before wait nope don't gotta play smart here and then we can run up and just spam the attacks. I may have died countless times, but I refuse to let Queen Goma get the best of me, damn it. I will not let Queen Goma kill me. If I keep doing stupid things like that, though, it might happen. Alright, Queen Goma. Or, well, you're, you're just called Goma, even though, you know, that Deku Scrub called you Queen Goma. And yep, you're summoning these little assholes. Yeah, whatever. One of them hatched. I don't care. You're running like a little punk. I am so livid that I took damage. I'm not really expressing my anger. Open your eye! Oh my god. I wasted so many seeds. Alright, whatever. One more cycle and you're dead. I'm not playing my best right now, but hey, that's what three game overs in the first freaking dungeon will do to you. I should not have had this much trouble in this damn dungeon. I feel so bad. Yeah, I know I really could just, like, take her out right now, but, eh. Whatever, I like to keep things, uh, you know, competitive. For my bosses. Huh. <laughs> competitive. And I'm not- oh yeah, I could just do that, you know, skip the middleman. You know, that stuns her automatically, too, just throwing a Deku nut. But not when she's running away. Oh my god. But she does stay stunned longer when you use the slingshot, so I guess I should just stick with that. Or no, nah, nah, I'll, I'll just keep doing things the quote easy way. With my flashbangs, that's what I'm gonna keep calling them. I think this is the most I have ever used them though. <laughs> Seriously, I never use Deku Nuts. Alright, whatever, flashbang! And she's dead. Yeah, otherwise you just want to lure her into sort of attacking so that she opens her eye wider and you can hit it with the slingshot, but flashbangs get the job done. But there is a way to, like, beat her super quickly. I just can't remember it. Give me that damn heart container. I earned that heart... No, no, I didn't. <laughs> I can't even pretend. I did not earn that. <laughs> that was so bad. For me, brute forcing, like, the... The, like, puzzle of this dungeon that everybody remembers. Apparently not me, though. <laughs> I can't even be mad. I can just laugh. I can just laugh. Because I totally embarrassed myself there. <laughs> wow. Oh, man, but I'm having fun, though. I'm having fun. And to think I was going into this dreading it. <laughs> 
wow, this is not a good sign of things to come for the later dungeons. I can just say that right now. But at least in between, things will go smoothly. Because, you know, I did kind of advance to the first dungeon, like, really quickly. You know, first part and all that jazz. Or to tell thee, wouldst thou listen? Well, I guess I don't really have much of a choice now, don't I? I will listen carefully. Wicked man of the desert cast his curse upon him. Oh, no. I am now aware of how often they show Ganondorf, like, oh, surrounded by fire, like when, when they're introducing him in the game. Wind Waker did the same thing, okay. Even man ceaselessly uses his vile source of powers in a search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. Ha, remember the sacred realm in the in my little Know Your Lore video things? All right. In the sacred realm, that the one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Where time began, where spirits and life existed, this kind of... Alright, well, yeah, they're talking about, you know, the goddesses that, you know, created Hyrule and stuff. Well, not really Hyrule, but just, you know, the world. Then the goddess of power, and they rule the goddess of wisdom, and Pharaoh, the goddess of courage. Yes, the goddess of courage. Who somehow became the oracle of secrets in the oracle games. She did not have a good promotion. <laughs> not at all. I will say, this looks pretty nice, you know, for Nintendo 64. Mm, strong flames create the red earth. Uh, kind of thing, but did I skip anything by not letting the title screen, you know, sit for a few seconds? Because all it does is just show Link, you know, traveling through the fields. I don't think it shows a little cinematic with some Hyrulean history. And considering I never owned, like, the real copy of this Nintendo 64 game, I'm not sure if the manual explains, like, the whole backstory for some things, too. But, I don't know, I gotta look into that. I mean, to be fair, it took me until, what, like, part... Five of Skyward Sword, like, oh yeah, here's what you missed if you let the title screen go for a few seconds. But yep, they completed their stuff, created the Triforce, mm -hmm, guys has left the world. So then the Sacred Triangles have become the basis of our world's providence. The resting place of the Triangles has become the Sacred Realm. Some guy named Rauru watches over them. Okay, thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. <gasps> oh no! So it didn't matter what we did. Oh well. Your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful. I was doomed before you started. So sad. I mean, but it's not like you really have enough time to grow attached to the Deku tree, but to be fair, he did let Link into the forest after his mom, you know, was dying. And he raised him as a Kokiri. Which, you know, I, I guess that's honorable. And we'll go to Hyrule Castle there that will surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you, the stone that man wanted to uh, so much, he cast a curse on me. And we now have the stone. I forgot the name of the stone, so I really want this to hurry up so I, like, you know, stop looking like a complete jackass. Any minute now. Kokiri's Emerald, yes, the spiritual stone. That, those are the names, spiritual stones. Spiritual stones, spiritual stones. All right. Future depends upon thee, Link. Thou art courageous and in, and wise and powerful. Oh no, just courageous. Okay, all right, all right. I thought they were about to name drop the Triforce. Well, Triforce is, you know. I entreat ye, Navi. Goodbye. Just gotta love that old style English. <laughs> I can't really say English, but 
Right, well, what you all get what I'm trying to say. And thus the Deku tree has passed away. And Navi is unmoved. Like, she's not grieving at all. She's saying, let's go to Hyrule Castle. Navi, you should be sad about this. You should be sadder about this, Navi. Freaking idiot. All right, we're out, and then Mido, he's going to give us a hard time because he's a douche. What do you do? The, the great Degatree, did he die? How could you do a thing like that? Oh, yeah. You know, it, it's my fault that the great tree that's centuries old that had a death curse cast upon it is dead. Mido, if you hadn't disappeared or, like, unrendered or something, I surely would have stricken you with my sword. Not like it would have did anything, but it would have, no, would have released stress for me. But I think that's a good enough place to stop here. So, uh, with that train wreck of a first dungeon complete, uh, I'm gonna end things here. So, next time we're going to, uh, you know, make our way to Hyrule Castle to meet the Princess of Destiny and, uh, you know, carry on the final request of the Deku Tree. So thank you all for watching. Have a great day and see you next time for some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest. Where hopefully it'll be less of a train wreck. I kind of didn't want to skip through that. I kind of wanted to, you know, save and quit. But considering it's going to be a while before the next uh, dungeon, things should go rather smoothly. They are not giving me time to react, and whatever. But yeah, things should move smoothly for the foreseeable next few parts. Foreseeable next few parts? Oh boy. I'm, I'm sure I will continue to butcher the English language going forward as well. But alright, that's all folks.